Hello, this is Sart, or the YouTuber formerly known as Brian Rowe, answering the question that I get asked most often. Why do I use the name Sart? There's a lot of reasons. Number one, I've never really felt like a Brian. Over there on the left, those are the search results that you get from Brian. I am the guy on the right. Little to nothing in common with other Bryans. And I've met a lot of Bryans. In fact, there's a huge number of Bryans out there in the world. Guess how many? Just here in the US. Over a million Bryans out there. And Brian Rose, you might ask? How many are they out there? Over 294 in the United States. I've met two of them personally. Nothing like me. So how about Sart? How many Sarts are there out there? Estimated to be over a thousand, although most of these are actually last names. And the combination of Sart and Ro? It's just me at this point. I like that. I like having a name that when I hear it, people know that they are talking to me. My ears don't perk up every time someone talks about a different Brian. I've been in meetings where there were six different Brians on one committee. I've dated people whose abusive exes were Brians. I've dated people whose very positive role model or father was Brian. Brian is extremely common and I am anything but common. Where did I get this name? Originally, I was inspired by Being in Nothingness, Jean Paul's book. This was a book that was purchased for me after I graduated high school. In fact, I wanted to quit high school and graduate with a GED or at least transfer to a different school because my school had a bunch of extra requirements, including doing a service learning project. I did mine on philosophy and the reason that I did it was my parents bribed me with a gift certificate to Powell's Books. And one of the things that I bought with this gift certificate was a first edition of Jean Paul's Being and Nothingness. This book shaped a lot of my philosophy. At the time, I was a hardcore atheist existentialist. I'm still an existentialist, but I've given up the atheism. I am a neo-pagan, that's a story for a whole nother time, although that does affect my name choice in some ways. I've been using the name Sartorus online for almost 20 years at this point. I ran a guild and then was a member of several other uh, prominent raiding guilds under the name Sartorus, using a necromancer warlock character in EverQuest that had the epic duck staff of doom. I played Crossmaster Arena online into the top 100, which is almost all European players, under the name Sartorus. I have five golden heroes on Hearthstone and stream and play under the name Sartorus. There are more people at this point that know me under the name Sartorus from online activities than under the name that I used to go by. Names have power. Names are incredible things. I did not realize the power of names until I started practicing as a pagan and taking on a name in circle and then taking on another name after an initiation. The process of choosing a name and becoming that name becomes part of who you are, part of your DNA. What you are called, how people refer to you, affects who you are. I'm strongly considering a legal name change at this point. Currently, it is just a casual name change. Just like any other major decision, I take time to contemplate it. I don't buy a domain name because it just pops into my head. I have a 24 hour rule on not buying a domain name until I look at it again and decide, is this really a domain name that I'm going to develop, that I'm going to do something awesome with? Might have created that rule because I owned like 23 domain names at one point and was only developing four of them. What I learned from that experience is that when you're going to make a decision that is going to affect you for years to come, whether that's getting a tattoo or a piercing or a name change, you should contemplate it very seriously. I've been thinking about this name change to start for over a year, and I finally implemented it in everything that I am doing. I am considering the legal name change and would love to have your feedback. Anybody who's went through a legal name change, I would like to hear how that went and what some of the pitfalls are. I am pretty much everywhere online under the name Sartreus. The areas that I'm active is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Swarm, 
and Hearthstone. For individuals who aren't aware of Swarm, awesome geolocation, gamification software that lets you know where your friends are. It broadcasts when you check into places. I was in Boston, I met up with people from Swarm. I was in DC recently and met up with people from Swarm. Everywhere around the country uses this technology. And if you want to play chess with me, play magic with me, talk about philosophy, talk about ethics, find me on Swarm and I am happy to talk to almost anyone, almost anywhere. If I'm out and about traveling in a city, it is so much more fun to be around awesome people. So find Sartorus on any of these social media platforms and then chat with me whenever I'm in your city or just online. Thank you. This has been Sart. Thank you to my sponsors on this channel, including chess.com. Come play Sart. And until next time, choose your videos wisely, including those videos over there. Yes, watch those. Thanks.